Shepard is waiting for you in the main hall. She's a striking creature, woman. It's hard not to admire her beauty and poise. Are you ready, Kian? I am. Good. Liko and Enu are joining you. They will tell you what you need to do tonight. How do they expect me to enter the city and not be recognized, even at night? If any Azadi sees me, they'll sound the alarm in an instant. How do you expect me to walk around unseen? Any Azadi will recognize me in an instant. Of course. That's why our Zidmari sorceress made this especially for you. Magic. There's no escaping it here. If you want to help us, I'm afraid you must drink it. A Bakshivan masking potion? Not quite, but a good guess. A masking potion would last for less than an hour. This is a Nirhardian veil. It remains potent for days. It... It makes all but the trained eye slide off you. Unless I speak to anyone, the guards won't even notice me. I'll be like a shadow to them. It's a very potent and very costly magic. Not easy to come by. You know your potions? When I trained to become an apostle, I was required to learn magic. Know your enemy. I'm sure that will serve you well. Drink it before you step ashore, and the veil will conceal you. But be cautious still. Don't speak to any Azadi guards or sympathizers. Don't attract attention. And remember, that those who know you intimately can always see through the veil. Liko and Enu are waiting for you down the stairs, in the hidden harbor. But you can't go into Mercuria looking like that. You'll need to get dressed. I've left some clothes on your bed. I trust they will fit you well. What do you think you're sad, you build? Are you looking for anything? Your room is right down the hall. Good luck later tonight, Apostle. Uh, Alvani. Uh, Kia. Uh, uh, what do we call you? If we keep losing people without winning any ground against oh. us. We didn't see you there. I hope your mission tonight is a success. Best of luck on your mission. You couldn't ask for better companions than Liko and Enno. Do you get seasick? What? Oh, I just want to know if you're going to get all pukey on us, that's all. I have been on a boat before. Good. Then I don't mind sitting next to you. We've wasted enough time. We need to leave. I'll tell you about the mission once we're on our way. After you, Kian. Split up. There's much to do, and we don't want to arouse suspicion. Maybe some instructions first? As I said on the boat we were just on minutes ago, Kian has three tasks. I'm hoping your memory is better than the Zid's apostle. There's a traitor in their midst. I need to identify this person before he or she can cause more harm. I'll be looking for a turncoat in Old Town. Right. Unfortunately, that's all we know. Someone in Old Town spying for the Azadi. He... Or she! 
probably frequent the magic ghetto, but he, uh, she, must be human, or they could not be working with the Azadi. We also believe they attend National Front meetings. National Fronters are traitors, Azadi collaborators. Their leader, Honor Hillaris, holds regular secret meetings somewhere in the city. That's probably our best chance of identifying the traitor. Sneak into one of those meetings and identify our guy. Girl. Uh, woman. Person? I'll begin my investigations in the market. Liko talked about a large shipment of weapons that must be destroyed. There's a shipment that needs to be destroyed. We've been informed that crates with weapons have arrived from Azadir. Muskets, cannons, gunpowder. They'll move the shipment to the tower barracks in the morning, but for now, it sits just outside the south gates. You need to destroy it, preferably in a way that gets their attention. We want the Azadi off balance and spooked. Basically, as much noise and fire as possible. Think big explosion. I'm supposed to visit someone called The Mole, a code name. This powerful man runs the criminal underworld in Old Town. Where can I find this man they call The Mole? Oh, it's not the a- The Mole's burrow is right here in Shady Quay, Kian. Ah, right. Yes, Kian, you will find The Mole close by. He is close by this, this man who is called The Mole, who is a human man, obviously. God save us from Zidlings and their lack of subtleties. The Mole operates an underground supply network out of the Magic Ghetto. We need food, medicine, and arms. And so we need to maintain, uh, good relations. Whatever the Mole asks of you, do it. Without questions. It's time to get started. I'm ready. You're on your own now. Enu and I have other assignments tonight. Once you've identified the turncoat, I'll meet you in the Magic Market. It's not far from here. Follow this street into Old Town. Afterwards, we'll meet up at the Cock and Puss. The Rooster and Kitten. It's a tavern on I Reed Avenue, right off the Southgate Market. Ulvik, the publican, is a friend of the Resistance. I'm sure it's all very confusing right now, Kiam, but there are maps everywhere. You can't get lost. Well, you can probably get lost. Are you going to get lost? I'll find my way, Anu. Right, good luck, big guy. Guys, both of you... Oh. Goddess, forgive me for this. Mm. Hmm. That tastes pretty good, to be honest. Unless I make myself noticed, or meet someone who knows me well, I'll remain veiled. The mole's expecting you. You'll wait your turn in the back. Don't speak unless spoken to. And no funny business. All right? He's not doing a very good job of being inconspicuous. But maybe that's the idea. He keeps an eye on me at all times. The mole's well protected. Merely an unfortunate side effect, Madam Mole. I... I don't expect... Unfortunate side effect? Is lot more than unfortunate side effect. Is mud-riddled catastrophe is what is. Everyone in bar sleep. Everyone who drink wine, close eyes and start snore. Not good for business. Well, yes, we put too much of the poppy stem in the mix. I blame the... Don't care. 
Responsibility on you. You cause disaster, you fix disaster. Poppy stem only to make wine more good, give spice, make more people buy wine. This, this make people not buy wine. This make people sleep and not drink any more wine. Make people buy other wine. This is bad thing, not good thing. Bad, bad thing. So, you fix. How you will fix? Oh, well, see, that's the problem. We've we've run out of poppy stem. It all... it went into that one shipment. Earth, save us from you lot. Without poppy stem, our wine just wine. Nothing extra. No spice. Very well. You get Eden Song from City Green. It grow there. Goat eat it. Goat love it. Goat get dizzy and fall over. Goat never know when enough is enough. Not same as poppy stem, Eden Song. But we'll do for now. Make wine more special again. Thank you, madam. I'll... Mix right amount next time. Not too little or no spice. And not too big. Or everyone go sleep. And if everyone sleep, you sleep, you sleep, long sleep, final sleep. Um, oh, right. God, yes, yes, I, thank you, my lady, thank you, thank you, thank you. What are you doing, Azadi, hmm? Come out of shadow. Let me see you. Maybe she wasn't informed of my visit. Maybe she has no idea I'm with the Resistance and believes that I represent the Azadi. She must know who I am and why I'm here. The creature clearly harbors a lot of animosity towards my people. Perhaps that's understandable. But if she only sees me as the enemy, it'll be impossible to come to terms. Maybe she wasn't in... Shepard sent me. I'm... Yes, yes, I know who you work for, Azadi. The Samare, the Resistance. Old stone library with wet floor. Motley group of personality. Ripe with drama. Come on, do not waste my time. I don't have mud for brain. I need to know what you need so I can speak what I need. Is way of thing. Before I do favour, you do favour. This is how the mole work. Never the first, always the second. The resistance is already fighting the Azadi. Doesn't that count as doing you a favour? But you are Azadi. I am. An apostle. I was. <laughs> I'm not like human. Azadi, they are worst of lot. How I know Azadi not playing me. How I know you not playing me. Goddess, save us all. I am Kian Arvani. I was the apostle, but now I'm a rebel. I'm here to make my people leave the Northlands and return to Azadir, and to ensure our so-called leaders stand trial for their crimes. I don't know. Smell like trap. But let us pretend you speak truth. What you want with the mole? I was told you could help us with weapons and supplies. Maybe the mole can help with weapon, maybe she cannot. But before this question answered, you help me with something. Scratch back. Scratch? It's just saying. Not want your oversized hand all over back. Favour for me. Favour for you in turn. What do you need? Need to intercept runner. Messenger who pass word between guard station in city. There is letter I need. You help Mole do this. Mole will consider your problem. I can do that. Good for you, Apostle no more. One condition. This runner. You will not hurt him. I will not. Why not? They use young men for runners. Boys. They have fought no battles, killed no rebels or magicals. They don't deserve to die. They are still enemy. I need your promise. I promise, I promise. 
No one hurt your little runner. My man there will mark place on map where runner pass. From there you find place to take message from runner with no guard watching. Remember, no one must see. Very important this. You take letter from runner, we get letter from you, everyone goes separate way, everyone happy. When job done, talk to the mole again. The mole will be ready to talk business. I wonder what sort of magical this one is. I've heard soldiers returning from the northern forests talk about the mole people who burrow into the mud. What are you? What I am, he asked. What I am? I am the mole. That's not the name of your species. My species, he say. The Azadi, always so tactful, always so sensitive. In my tongue, that name be Panda Panta. It mean tiny folk who sing to earth and shape it, or something like this. It's fancy way of saying we live in muck, know many song and dig deep tunnel. So we are mole, deep dweller, digger, mole with fancy name, who speak and sing and also magic. Except a Zardi come and put fire and smoke in Banda tunnel. And when Banda come out, a Zardi slaughter. Every one of us, man, woman, child, infant, no mole spared, except me. Except old woman. Left me for dead. I am last of species, Azadi. Last of people. Last of Banda Banta. Last of Mole. I am the Mole. And now you go and come back only when finished. Go. Shoot. Leave. You know door. Easy to find. Still open. tried to steal my purse. So? You're a Zardi. That's the worst excuse ever for stealing a purse. You could get your arm chopped off. So far, so good. Lucky for you, I'm not a Zardi. Now scram. How tall are you? You're really tall. Leave me alone, boy. You're a lot taller than my dad. Are you sure you're not a Zardi? Yes. You look a Zardi. Are you a soldier? Why aren't you in uniform? Are you secret police? What? No. Run off before I lose my patience with you. You sure look like one of them. Oh, for the love of the goddess. What's your name, boy? Bip. Bip? Yeah. So? You should be with your mother, Bip. Not out on your own, thieving. Go home. Can't. I ain't got one. I'm sorry. You should still not... They're not dead or anything. Uh, my parents. They were just sent to Guillen. Guillen. That's where the Magicals are sent. 
They don't come back from there. But the boy must know this already. He must have seen it happening to others. The boy probably has no idea what happens on Guillen. I shouldn't be the one to tell him. Guillen. To the prison colony. Re-education camp. That's what my father said. They probably didn't listen very well in school when they were children. They'll be back when they've been properly re-educated. No one comes back from the islands. Not magicals. What do you mean? I mean... Are you saying they're going to stay there forever? He's only a boy. But so was I when I became an orphan. No one protected me from the truth. They're not coming back. But why? What will happen to them? You shouldn't think of such things. Do you have no family here? Not in Mercuria. They're all in the Southlands. What's going to happen to them? They will be put to work. That's what the prison camps are for. To keep the magicals away from humans. To segregate them. Segregate? To keep magicals apart from humans. Forever. You're lying. I am not. Truly. You're one of them. Why are you here? Are you going to take me and send me to be a segre... segregate? Segregated. Two? I'm not one of them. Well, you sure look and sound like them. I'm sorry about your parents, but I have things I need to do. Are you with the Resistance? Uh, resistance? Well, of course not. I'm... Because I overheard someone saying there's an Azadi in the Resistance now. And if you're Azadi, and you're here, and you have things to do, that sounds an awful lot like you're with the Resistance. Keep your voice down, boy. Don't worry. Everyone in Old Town supports the Resistance. Most everyone, anyway. What do you mean by most everyone? I mean that there are some who don't support the Resistance, some who sneak off to National Front Assemblies, some who rat out rebels to the Azadi. Do you know anyone like that? No. Well, I don't know their faces, but I know where there's a National Front Assembly tonight. Show me. What? Show me where. I get to go on a mission with you. That's... that's... so incredibly cool! Calm down, boy. I just want you to tell me where it is. How well do you know the city? Well, not... very. Right. So I'll show you. Too complicated to tell you. It's not safe. For you? No. For me? I leave the ghetto all the time when it's dark. I know where to go, where the guards are posted, their patrol routes, everything. I'm like a rogue, one with the shadows, the veiled avenger. I'm an assassin. Uh... Just show me the way, and then you're coming straight back here. I'll just stay for a little while. Straight back. Or I find someone else to take me. Good luck with that. But fine, I'll come straight back. Are you ready? Can we go now? There's no reason to delay this mission. Let's go. Yes! Follow me! My table's always open, day and night. We need to leave the ghetto. How will you get past the guards? I know a way. Meet me on the other side. Wait, what? The other side! Who's there? See? Easy. Gotta save us. You're playing with your life, boy. I don't need a goddess to save me. I'm very good at climbing. How did you escape the keep? What? I, I didn't. How do you know about that? Oh, everyone knows the Apostle escaped the keep on the night of his execution. There's even a puppet show about it. Shadow, take me. And why do you think I'm that Azadi? Mysterious Apostle Guy escapes the keep. Mysterious Azadi joins the Resistance a few days later. I may only be ten years old, and I may have purple skin, but I'm nobody's fool. 
Clearly. What else do you know about me? This is it. This is where they have their meetings and speeches and stuff. Are you sure? Positive. Sometimes I listen in. They talk about magicals and about how we've ruined the world and taken everything from them. It makes me sad listening to that. I didn't know magicals were so bad. No wonder humans hate us. We don't... <sighs> Look, boy. Bip. Those people are not good people. You have done nothing wrong. You can't help the way you look or the color of your skin. How and where you've been born doesn't make you a bad person or less of a person. It just makes you you. It's what you do with your life that matters. Now, Scram, get out of here. Go back and be careful. But... You promised. No arguments. Fine, fine. What? A tip would be appreciated, in recognition of all my hard work. <laughs> You're really something. Here. Now run back, you little thief.